Okay, yeah, 19 out of 78. So we're just under 25%. Well, let's go. Welcome to the House of Fun. Let's see, what time is it? Okay, just about 7. So I've been at it about an hour. Okay. I'll probably go another hour. Um, at the very least, I'm going to get to an Orlando and see where we are from there. I'm not really planning on doing a long one tonight. And then uh, tomorrow night, of course, we'll be doing more Stardew Valley. That's my nice Friday night chill out because my job sucks in the game. Tell me how many souls I need. Why doesn't it... You know, I could summon Tarkus for the Iron Golem fight, because he can solo that thing, but uh, I kind of want to just do it myself. I need 10,000. Okay. Not going to worry about it then. And of course, we're going to do the... We're going to use the traps of the funhouse against the enemies. It's like, why have those arrows going to my face? Oh, sneaky. Sneaky snake. Oh, a miss. Take that, snakes. It's funny, I always have a habit of rescuing Big Hat, even though even when I'm not a spellcaster. It's like I don't know why I do it, I just feel compelled to. post for the snake. That's how I like it. Although these ones with the flamberges, I am never quite sure when they're going to attack. Oh. So we'll just do that instead. Oh good, two shards. I thought it would just be just one in there. Bum ba dum bum bum ba dum <laughs> strike. I believe, yeah, the shuttle, just a dex weapon, so I will not be using it this time. Oh, crit's not enough for him. Guess we gotta flatten him. Oh, silly me, I didn't level up the bonfire at the chapel. That was very silly. I could have 20 Estus flasks right now, and I don't. Jeez. You'd think I had never played this game before.
Is this where it needs to be? Okay, this has one of the equipment sets, but... Oh, and Hush. Which, again, I never use. I don't have enough... Um, intelligence to cast anything, and... I'm not gonna put the levels into that just yet. Oh, this is that trapped elevator. Eh, we'll go around the long way. I don't want to deal with that right now. Okay, is that going to come this way? Interesting. I guess that's when I have to set it to manually. Those of us who don't use this, the spell Hush, we have another option here. Oh, bye, Snake Man. Oh, he died. Bonus. There we go. The Slumbering Dragon Crest Ring for whenever you're feeling sneaky. One thing that I've never figured out is when traps reset in this game, or at least in Sen's Funhouse, because I haven't even left the area or hit a bonfire and this pressure plate is reactivated, and I have no idea why that is. Because it definitely shouldn't be. So whatever the rules are, they've never been clear to me. And I think this one's back up too, yep. So, if you look at this chest... Oh, yeah, you can see something's... The, the way you tell is looking at the chains. This chest is not a frickin' chest. Boulder should do the trick. Okay, now we'll use the death trap elevator. It would be a death trap if we didn't know the spikes were at the top. And... I think if I head up this way, we're good. Uh-oh. Good. Oh, right. I need the boulder to go this way. I'm going to make sure it takes out the snake man before I go down there and rescue Big Hat. There we go. A couple more, more uh, rolls and that should do the trick. Okay, so we're going to spin this around, 
so it goes outside. It won't matter because it resets due to the giant being alive. Or something else. I don't precisely know how it works, but the until you bump off that giant, the balls are going to keep rolling. Hey, big hat. I'm not sure how he got that name. It certainly couldn't be the size of his hat. Oh, have a benefit on this. And a soul of a hero, and that's worth a good number of souls. I might just pop that at the next bonfire. I'm thinking it might be time to start leveling up my strength. I mean, I'm not going to pull a Black Knight Halberd anytime soon, but you never know. It might be a nice option to have. Okay, see, that time that trap didn't reset. Okay, another pressure plate trap here. And some more swinging, some more swinging axes. Okay, period post. Nice uh, little take that for the snake man. Oh, there's another one. Or snake lady. I don't want to jump to conclusions. Okay, four large shards. I can take my battle axe up. That'll be nice, because that'll be... It'll give me another tool I can use. Oh, you know, I think there's a guy here. I'm going to have to... Oh, and I still have some black fire bombs. Excellent. the roof. That giant's got a big surprise coming to him. Just throwing that out there. Yeah, I'm gonna eventually want to be able to shoot a bow. So let's let's bump up that dexterity a little bit, but don't tell anyone. Is that two more large shards? Thank you very much, game. Oops. Okay, I really overcommitted to that. Oh, no. Always punish the chug.
mean, his rapier is cool and all, but I won't be using it. Okay, and I think we get a divine blessing here, which is all. Oh, and the rare ring of sacrifice. We actually do use that later. I've never actually used a divine blessing, because it's one of those things that falls under too awesome to use, <laughs> so I never actually use it. Plus, they're super rare. There's like. I think you can get three per playthrough. So you don't see a lot of them. Okay, that giant's gotta go. It's like he's just causing trouble and he knows it. Oh, herp. <laughs> And I think I hear a uh, Balter Knight with a crossbow. Good thing he can't aim. Not like the, uh, not like the in Orlando Knights. Hey, big guy. Show feet. There you go. And for our efforts, we get 3,000 souls and a tight night chunk. Not half bad. Okay, so there's the boss door, but there's still things I want to get done before I finish that. Let's see. Let me go ahead and make a little hop down here. Because I would like to pick up the key so I can open the shortcut out of here. Oh, that's not how you do that. Ouch. Oh, the flame ring. Okay, sometimes useful. I'm sure I'll remember it eventually. Okay, we gotta try that jump again, preferably with less suck. Much better. So we'll ignore this merchant and dash down the stairs. Where we go beat up a snake man. Okay, so that cage key opens a shortcut that basically takes us right back to the entry of the fun house. So that's that's always nice. Plus, it's a it makes it a quick run from the uh, undead parish bonfire right to the boss. So hey, 
Not that I need that right now. I just need to go and beat the boss up. He knows he sucks. Oh, wow, I don't even have the strength to use the great sword. Or the great axe, for that matter. Interesting. Okay, so he's got the baller set, the steel set, and the onion knight set. That's kind of cool. Nothing at all. Fine then. Oh, come on. Well, at least I don't need to go that way again, unless I want to overpay for shards. I mean, he's one of two places you can buy green blossoms, but you can also farm them down in the Dark Rift Garden as well, so... He's not a particularly important merchant. But when you get there, that's the first place you find where you can just buy large shards, so... I still remember it was on this bridge that I encountered a, um, oh, I forget what they're called, but they're the enemy that spawns when somebody dies with five humanity and doesn't recover it. Um, I encountered two of those in one evening. I couldn't believe it. Okay, so we need to go in the cage to make the shortcut work, so we're basically just going to go in, hit the bottom, and turn around. And back in we go. But yeah, that's a significant short shortcut for the fortress. Alright, we have one thing left to do other than kill some stray uh, giants. But I'm not worried about those right now. Right now, I'm just going to put the smack down on the iron golem. Oh! Oh no, 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 no. Okay, didn't throw me off the edge. Okay, small victory. Um, yeah, let's... You know, I can just warp back here later anyway. I'm not going to go get those giants right now. It's off to the anal rodeo. Okay, it's time to take on the Vatican. 
or at least an area that was definitely inspired by it. <laughs>